This week, Google pushed out the monthly security update for May to its Pixel smartphones. And I can confirm that if you're running the Canary version of Majisk, which right now is version 24307 or later, then you can follow my tutorial that walks you through installing the latest update while rooted, and it will keep your data across the over-the-air update. However, when I followed my own tutorial, I was greeted with an error in Majisk after I attempted the restore images part of uninstalling Majisk. See, in order to install these over-the-air updates seamlessly on a rooted device, we need Majisk to have a backup of our original boot.img file. Now, depending on how you rooted your phone, you may not be able to complete that restore images part because of the lack of said backup. So in this video, I want to show you how I forced Majisk to create a backup of my original boot image file on the Google Pixel 6. And this should work on any other Google Pixel device, as well as any other device that you can download a fresh copy of the boot image file. I was then able to proceed with the usual update method and now I'm on the May update for this phone and I was able to keep root and all of my data in the process. So if you've ever gone into Majisk, needed to uninstall Majisk and then tried the restore images part and then you were told that a stock backup does not exist then I'm going to show you how I fixed that error. Now again, I needed a copy of the boot image file for the firmware that I was currently running. So I went to Google's factory images page for Pixel devices. And then I scrolled down to find my device. And then I matched up the firmware that I was currently running. So I was on the April security update, trying to update to the May update. So I downloaded the April security update. I then extracted the contents of that file. And then I grabbed the boot image file and I copied it back to my phone. Now, if you downloaded the, fir the firmware to the phone itself, you can just extract the boot image file and leave it on the device. The goal is to get the stock boot image file of the firmware you are currently running and copy it to our device we needed on the storage of this device. Now with this boot image file, we need a way to flash it on the phone while we are still booted into Android. Some people have suggested using a DD command, as that is exactly what Majisk is doing itself. And others have gotten Majisk to make a backup on its own. However, doing that requires getting the SHA checksum to execute complex commands. And it wasn't a method that I was willing to test out yesterday. However, I was able to complete this much faster with a root application instead. This method is much easier than executing ADB commands, but the app does cost money. It's the Franco kernel manager app that we download from the Play Store. I'm currently in the process of looking for a free alternative to the app. And if I find one, I'll update the video description below. However, now I'm going to be showing you how I did this yesterday. So once we have the boot image file in the storage of our device, we're going to open up Franco kernel manager and we're going to grant it root access. We then need to open up this bottom menu right here and we're going to select the flasher tool. Now we have a manual flasher button right here that whenever we tap it, it opens up into our file browser. So you can see I have our boot image here. And when we select it, 
we're going to be asked if we want to just flash the image file or if we want to flash and reboot. It is important that we select the just flash option because we need to stay booted into Android so that we can maintain root access. So after we have flashed the stock boot image file with Franco kernel manager or any other root application, we can then open up Majisk and tell Majisk to do a direct install. So we tap on install, we select the direct install option, and then we tap the let's go. So even though we have replaced our patched boot image with a stock one, we still have root access, so we're still able to patch that boot image, but it's going to create that backup because we've went through this process of patching uh, the boot image directly with Majisk, where the application itself is going to create that backup we need. So once this boot image has been patched directly as shown, we can tap the blue reboot button right here. And that's going to restart our device and it should be in the same state as it was before, meaning we should still have root access. Even though we had flashed the stock boot image, we just replaced it with Majisk. And not only that, Majisk has created that stock boot image. And because of that, we can use the uninstall Majisk and restore images part of Majisk so that we can complete the over the air update tutorial that I have done previously. So now that we have booted back up, when we open up Majisk, again, we still have root access, but before, whenever we try to uninstall Majisk and restore images, we're no longer going to get that error message saying that the stock backup does not exist. And that means we can complete the over the error update process to keep root access and retain all of our user data. So this is how I fixed the Majisk error. And I would be curious to know what other methods are available out there that fix this. So if you have come across this issue and you have had to fix it yourself, let me know how you fixed it in the comment section below. Or if you followed along with me in this video to fix the error yourself, let me know if this process fixed it for you as it did for me.